Okay, we are talking about the surface area. What is on the outside of a cylinder? If you have not yet watched the Ed Puzzle video with the animation, the one with no talking, go back and watch it now before watching this, and this next part will make more sense. Okay, so when I am taking a look at the surface area, I have to break it apart into my three components. The first bit is the top part. So the first thing I have to do, the first bit is my top part. So I need to draw this circle. I'm taking it and putting it into two-dimensional shape. My next part is the bottom. And you'll notice that, that is actually the exact same as the top. So I'm going to write it here. It's the same thing. You could actually just times it by two. And then the third part, and this is the most complicated part, is the label. And the label goes all the way around. It is a, like a rectangle, a piece of paper that goes around the front and also around the back. And that one looks like this. And if you remember, the next thing we have to do to find the area of these three things, we have to write our dimensions. So this rectangle here has uh, an area of what? What is the dimensions of this? Now, so uh, the, the height of this rectangle here is 7. That is the height of my label. That's pretty easy. The width of the radius of my um, circles are both five. That's pretty easy. All that is given to us in the problem. The one dimension that is not given to us in the problem is this, is the width of my label. And if you imagine this, the label goes around the circle. The label goes around the circle. And what do we call the measurement around a circle? Well, we call that circumference. That is what we call circumference. F-E-R-E-N-C-E. -E. Circumference. And that is the width of my rectangle, the circumference, because it goes around the circle. How do we find circumference? Well, we have to take the radius, times it by 2, which in this case is 10, and times it by pi. In this case, we're going to approximate that with 3.14. So that means my width is 31.4 units. Now, to find the surface area, we just have to add these three areas together. We're finding the area of these three. So here, I would take 5 times 5 times 3.14. This one's going to be exactly the same. You could just take the result and times it by 2, or if you want to do it again, that's okay. 5 times 5 times 3.14. And here we have the area of a rectangle, which is 7 times 31.4. If I add, if I put an equal sign here, and let's just write down what all these are, and let's add them together. Uh, 25 times 3.14 is 78.5. So this is 78.5. This is also 78.5. Those should be the same. They always should be the same because it's the same shape. 7 times 31.4 is 219.8. If I add these three things together, I will get 376.8. Now, what's my unit? Well, we're talking about area. Even though it is a three-dimensional shape, we are talking about area. So my unit will be in meters, not cubed, but squared, because it is still an area function. Let's do one more here. Uh, the second one we're going to do is in exact terms of pi. And if you have not seen these before, uh, it's a good time to review. You've seen it with area of a circle. This is actually easier. Even though it's more conceptually difficult, it's easier because I do not have to multiply by 3.14. So again, I'm just going to separate. Here's the top. And what's the radius? The radius is 2. Here's the bottom. That's the exact same thing. I don't even have to write it twice, maybe. I can just write two times. Here, the radius of 2. And then I have my label. 
uh, you know, I should probably draw the label a little bit more accurately this time because it is going to be kind of a tall label because we have a tall rectangle. So my height is 7, and against the width is my circumference. And how do you find circumference? Well, I take my diameter, 4, and multiply that by pi. So it's 4 pi. Let's go ahead and work out the areas in exact terms of pi. The area here of this circle is 2 times 2, 4 times pi. The area of this circle is 2 times 2, 4 times pi. The area of this is height, 7, multiplied by 4 pi. Multiply these two together, and I get 28 pi. The last step is just to add all this together, 28 plus 4, plus 4, and I should get 36 pi, and my unit is square yards. And that is the final answer. Much easier, because we don't have to use 3.14. We just use the symbol pi. How great! Good luck.